All that she wants is another baby. I'm gone tomorrow. Oh boy, Canadian Butters is thirsty. I think I need myself a beer. Boy, I can't wait to make a new video for my subscribers. I know they're just jonesing for another video. Oh, what do we got here? An apple and six pat blue ribbons. Oh, hamburgers. <laughs> beer of the day, Pat's blue ribbon. Old trusty. <sighs> Delicious. I'm just trying to come up with a video that will go viral. You know, get a couple thousand views to make Master System Marceau and Elfenir jealous and all those other losers on YouTube. But I just can't seem to think of anything. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure if I brainstorm, pop on a little bit of YouTube, I'll come up with something. Lou, 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 I got us burgers. Lou, 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 I smell like poo. All right, let's see what's on the old YouTube today to see if we can gain some inspiration. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look and see what some of these losers on YouTube have been up to. Ugh, alpha creep. Woman beaten piece of shit. Sure enough, he's playing Chase HQ2, eh? <laughs> Can't even afford a real copy. Gotta play emulation. Sad, sad, sad. Not like good old Canadian butters. Fuck that. Let's see what old Turbo Joe's been up to. It is so easy to change out your cheap stock arcade one of buttons. <laughs> cushy, cushy, they cushy, sure are cheap. Buttons. Keep so wasting little, your money, you Joe. Click you sad, 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 sad. Nice clicking That's sound. That's enough of that. With what a piece nice of shit. Ugh. Ken's game collection. Oh, of course, with the monetization. Gotta make a buck, eh, Ken? <laughs> Just pathetic. Make me sit through these ads. Good God, good Lord. Ugh. Look at the hoarding. He doesn't play a single game on those shelves. Oh, so pretentious. Thinks it looks so nice. Just an obsessed hoarder. Go out and touch some grass, Ken. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's see what old Master System Marceau's been up to. Oh, look at that terrible logo. Oh, look at that handsome face right there. Gotta like that beautiful face. What's this? Sunset Riders. Transbot. Oh, of course, playing Chase HQ, just like Alpha Nerd, eh? Oh, pathetic. These guys just desperate to beat my times. Well, I'm not going to get any inspiration from these losers. Oh, well. Old Canadian Butters is going to have to think of something fresh, because these guys got nothing. Ah, oh, well, that's two and a half minutes of my life I'll never get back. <laughs> I just can't come up with any ideas. I don't know. Let's just head up to the old game room and see if I can come up with some more ideas, or maybe do a little bit of trolling on the internet. <laughs> Okay, now that I'm half in the bag drunk, let's get on the computer and do a little bit of trolling. I'm thinking maybe some troll posts towards Marceau and stupid elf of creep. This will surely live inside Marceau's head. Okay, Master System Marceau is an obsessed man-child who jacks up to Sonic. <laughs> that will definitely piss him off. And we can't forget about the unhinged psycho, elf of creep. Alpha Nerd is an unhinged woman beater who smells like pee and lives in an apartment. Think about that, folks. <laughs> like, seriously, they need to think about it. He's fucking insane. Piece of shit. Ah, hamburgers, though. That trolling was sure fun, but I gotta come up with some ideas for my video. I know. I should call my good buddy Mega Stan 29 Mega Stan always knows what to do. Canadian Butters, what is really hood? I don't want to sound gay, but I bet you got a big dick. Oh, Mega Stan, I wish that were true, but it is small and thin as a pencil. But I need help. I need ideas for a video. <laughs> well, Canadian Butters, I don't know if I have any good ideas, but I bet 
peanut head in the solar system's butthole is super nice. Maybe you could do a top 10 video about that. I got it. Do the top five maple syrups you would like to taste off of peanut heads in the solar system's butthole. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I don't know about that one, Mega Stan. Well, Canadian Butters, keep that butthole clean. I'm going to go work on an NDR Joe Montana Sports Talk football. Oh, yeah, geez. Uh, yeah, uh, thanks a lot, Mega Stan. Yeah. Doot doot. Ah, oh, hamburgers, like that was any damn help. Goddamn Mega Stan, only talking about buttholes and dicks all the time. Fucking useless. I'm going to have to come up with ideas myself. Oh, man. Oh! Oh my god, that's it! That's it! I'll make a video about Road Rash 2! I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll ask people if they, if I should get it graded! Yeah! That makes sense! Great Road Rash 2! Great idea! I'm so smart! Derp, derp, dee, derp, dee, derp! Dee, derp, dee, 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 derp! Hey everybody, Canadian Butters here back with another video today. Just going to be a short one for you. I uh, had a long day at work. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but there is something I wanted to talk about. An idea I think might be pretty good. Ah, for fuck's sake, this is the sixth time this week. Jesus Christ. Would you please shut the hell up? There's no fire. Ah, oh, hamburgers. This happens like eight fucking times a week, and I'm getting pissed. Shut up. Come on. Are you serious? Bro, do you even ask nicely? First, I just want to say thanks, Canadian Butters, for reaching out to us, but there's a right and a wrong way to go about it. Use your manners and be nice. Thanks for coming through. And Turbo Jim, great front flip. Hello everyone, I am Fire Marshal Mr. Michaels. And I just want to tell you young man, Mr. Canadian Butters, on behalf of the fire department, we want to let you know that we take fire drills seriously. Yes, we are testing out a new horn, and I know you have videos to make. But what comes first is the safety of this town. Ah, oh, hamburgers, I guess I really screwed up this time. Well, sorry, Mr. Firefighters. Ah, fuck them, bunch of lazy assholes. Okay, let's try to get this video done once and for all. God damn it. Derp, derp, de derp, de derp. Be derp, de derp, derp, de derp. Hey everyone, it's Canadian Butters. Welcome back to another video. Oh, my fucking second time trying to shoot this thing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, I hope you're all having a good week. Weather's been beautiful, even though it's been cloudy and miserable and rainy. But just hope you're all getting outside and touching some grass. I had a little bit of time to make a video today. You know, I worked a long, long shift, busy week, busy week, had a faucet on the kitchen sink break, <sighs> more expenses, expenses, oh, mm -mm. sorry, m marble mouth, can't get my words out, but you know, I, uh, I was thinking about something, and uh, I was wondering about your guys' opinion, old Canadian Butters was wondering about your guys' uh, opinion, ah, oh, hamburgers, and uh, I was wondering... Old Canadian Butters was wondering if I should get my copy of Road Rash 2 for Electronic Arts on the Stega Genesis graded. That's right, folks. <laughs> I think that maybe I could get a copy of my Road Rash 2 graded to etch it into the history of gaming. Now I know. It's a very common game. I have two copies myself. 
<laughs> and I know you might think I should give my head a shake. It's only Road Rash 2. It generally sells complete in box for maybe 40 Canadian dollars, 25 American. But I got a real good shape copy, and though I didn't grow up with this game and have no sentimental value for it, I thought it would be a great reason to make a video. I mean, a great reason to grade a video game. So, fellas, even though I know maybe it's not the most sensible thing to do, and it might be because I actually don't own anything worth grading, like, say, a high-value comic book, or a high-valued video game, or a high-valued anything, but I thought it might be kind of cool to pop on my shelf a graded copy of Road Rash 2. You know, it really is quite a fantastic game. I can almost get through all the tracks without crashing, and that's saying a lot, because those guys like Public Enemy Number 1 and many others really do bring the heat. And well, fellas, I just want to say that you are all wonderful and beautiful. Thanks for watching, and you take care now.